All right, guys. So today, um, I'm out here with the Daisy Powerline 880. Um, we're gonna do some power testing on it, and like just to do a quick review on the gun. This is not the scope that it comes with. It comes with a, I think it's a 4x16. This is a 4x32. Um, I bought the scope myself. Um, bought the gun myself. It's got a really nice hand grip here. Um, it has a cheek pad on this side. You don't really need a recoil pad for this gun. It um, doesn't shoot hard at all. It is pump action. You got to pump it. And um, I'm just shooting your standard Daisy BBs with it. And uh, I'm not shooting any pellets. I haven't found one pellet that works great with this gun. But BBs have worked fantastic. So we're going to get... I'm going to get rolling, I'm going to set the slow-mo camera um, down by this piece of wood that we're going to shoot. We'll see how this goes. Alright guys, so now that you've seen what it does on wood, I'll show you again. It goes straight through there. So, now you've seen what it does on wood. Let's see what it does on metal. Alright guys, we're going to take a look at this. Holy cow. Man, yeah, it actually did a pretty good job. It put a real nice dent there. Maybe a millimeter or two. That's really good for a BB in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it bulged. Hard to see, but it bulged it right there. Bulge the back, so um, let's try this. I think we should try this one again. All right, guys, so it's um, day two of seeing how powerful um, these air guns are, and it got too dark. I don't know if you saw, but whatever I shot this last time, it sparked. And that, little focus, focus shadow, that right there is what it, what happened. It's a pretty big dent. It kind of skipped across it. Um, but this time, I'm going to try shooting some plywood. And then, I'm going to try shooting some glass. So, we'll see how the plywood goes. It's much more compact than the, the log that I shot. Um. So, we'll see if this will go through. Alright guys, so it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little windy, so, but, we'll see how this goes. I got the gun back out again. I just refilled it with ammo, and using these Daisy Steel BBs, we'll see how this works. Get this an inch, three quarter inch, but I don't think it's gonna go through any more than this. Um, so we'll see how this does. All right, guys. So it might have been hard for you to tell on the slow motion video, but check this out. entry hole. Exit hole. So. Went straight through plywood, so that's pretty thick plywood too, so we'll see how well it does with some glass. Well guys, no glass, but what I do have is some tin can, so a little bit of soup in there, but we'll see how this does. Hopefully, I'll be able to hit it. This, I already said, hello son, I already said this before, but um... Scope's not 100% sided then, and BB's columns aren't that accurate, but we'll see how this works. All 
All right, guys, so obviously the camera didn't focus, but when I came up here, take a look at this. Entry hole came out right there. Exit hole. <laughs> it went straight through and into the tree. So let's see if I can actually get it out. Oh, no. Oh, here it is. So there's VV right there. And there's one that kept going straight back in there, but I think that's a tin can because it was sitting right here. So it went straight through tin cans, regular soda cans. It went straight through plywood, and it put a pretty good dent in metal. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope this inspires you to go out and do your own videos. And thank you to Daisy, and not a sponsor, but get a Daisy. They're awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, but first, I'd like to give a shout out to Northern Bassing Ontario um, for supporting my videos and just kind of boosting my self esteem. Um, you're inspiring me to make more videos, so thank you. And. We're going to have some more fishing videos coming up later in the spring, so hope you guys like fishing videos. And that's it, so please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.